Now today we're going to talk about empathy, the concept of empathy, because often you are in a conversation with someone who's either mad at you or they're talking about someone they're mad with. And so your job is to become the empathetic listener. Um, I got some of these concepts from a lovely colleague, Ravi Govin, um, from the IAF China conference this year. And thank you, Ravi, for this wonderful workshop that you did. Um, I also find that Dr. Marshall Rosenberg's work on nonviolent communication really emphasizes empathy as well. So I wanna bring that into it as well. But there's just three steps and they're very easy and I love that Ravi shared these three steps. And the first step is really to sense what is the person saying, sense the feeling behind the words. They might be saying something that actually is completely different from the feeling, but if you really pay attention, you can sense a sadness or you can sense obviously frustration or perhaps fear. And when you name that emotion accurately, that will make a huge difference. I'm sensing you're afraid of something here or that this is scary for you. Um, and then the main thing also here at this point is don't, to, don't bring attention to yourself. There might be, well, you know, I've, I've, I've felt that before too. You know, you'll get over it. That is not particularly helpful. So don't bring, avoid bringing attention to yourself. And then the third step is to express what you're sensing or feeling. Uh, I sense that you're feeling really upset about what this person said or what I said to you, um, perhaps because you just really wanted validation at that point. You wanted them to acknowledge the pain that you've been going through. And just, can you let me know if I got that right? And that is the nonviolent communication format of expressing what you just heard, the feeling, the need, and then the request. What did you just hear me say? So that's a very quick lesson in how to practice empathy in a conflict situation.